Hi folks, Robert here with more Rhythm Training. Today we're going to be an MEP and we want to look at how you uh, add and modify conduit. That's going to be the question of the week. So here I have this file from one of my old accent books and uh, we're going to have a look here. So what happens when you uh, what with conduit, it's, it's similar to uh, a cable tray that we just worked on. So, you know, you always have to go into your systems tab here and you go to the electrical. And then you have to have your settings here. So, um, electrical settings, dialog box, you want to select angles. Yeah, we already got it preset. And then you want to tick this box where it says use specific angles here. And then you want to untick these two right there. And then we'll say OK. Now we had an electrical plan here and we're going to um, zoom into the electrical room area here. This is our electrical room. And then in the systems tab, we want to click conduit. So now here, uh, okay, we select it. Okay, now here in the properties, we've got, uh, this is the type we're going to use. So we got uh, uh, conduit with fittings, non-metallic, rigid RNC, uh, right? Schedule 40 and then uh, in the options bar we want that to be to it so everything seems to be set at the default and our elevation is uh, offset is 9 foot 6 so then once you get all that where you want it to be or all the sections alright you want to just select this LP1 panel Okay, now once it's selected, okay, then you have your connector here. And we can move this guy around if we want, but for this time, I guess we can just leave it in the center. And then we'll click here. See, this you can move connected with this stack here, but okay, we want to just finish that. And then I want to just drag this conduit all the way to the end here. Okay, just to show you how this works. We're gonna drag it all the way down to here, let's say. Alright. And then I'll bring another conduit from here to here. Now, as you can see, the junction box is popped in there. Okay. And then again, we want to go from here to here. So basically, you want to get conduit that's going to go all through this, uh, this level. So I'm going to come to here. Maybe that one there. And then things are sort of branch, going to sort of branch off here. So I can go from here to here now. Uh, let's say you want to go from there to there. And here to here. I think I get that. Pick that up. Yep. Uh oh. Cancel that. Something went wrong there. Should have kept that going on. Let's look at this fine view so we can kind of see what's going on here, folks. So there is our conduit, and I wanted to just take this guy on through. And my conduit, yep. I'm going to take it there to there. I hope I got it. I don't know if I do or not. Let me see if I can. Okay, so we're all good there. So I want to just come and drop a few through here like so. As you can see, the, 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 the boxes already automatically pop in. And then here, 
we can also go to the systems tab again and let's select uh, this one here condo fittings and let's go to the ends and just place a box there and one there and there okay so now we have our, our, our I would say our first run uh, this is basically how you would lay your conduit out and we can go in here and have a look at this uh, and we can add additional conduit here uh, Let's go and look at this in our section. Let's just cut a section through here and see what, what this looks like. Or even in 3D view. If we can't see it. Oh boy, I don't know. Oh, but no, we won't be able to see it there. So, uh oh, there's something else. There we go. So here, I'll just drop a section right through here. We'll have a look at this what's going on here. Uh oh, sorry. So there's our section view now. I'm gonna make this fine so we can see what's going on here. Alright, so okay, let me just pull this guy down because I think our there it is. So there's our conduit that went up there and then we can play around and adjust that so let's go back into the lighting plan view and then now uh, the modify conduit is similar to cable tray say I want to move this pretty simple just go and move so I want to move that run that way there a little bit and I could do that so uh, once you get everything connected, they're pretty cool to modify. Uh-oh, that one broke. So see if I can just okay, cancel that. Extend this in. But this this is simple. That's how you do it. That's how you uh add and modify conduit in Revit. <laughs> uh, pretty simple and straightforward. And again here our panel so hey guys thanks for watching uh hope hope you got something out of this please subscribe like share super thanks whatever you can do for me the channel supports so everybody be safe take care see you in the next video bye